Hey y'all, Little Drummer Boy here, and tonight I want to do a tribute to uh, another native North Carolinian, Charlie Daniels, who hailed from Wilmington, North Carolina, and down on the coast, which I'm pretty sure is where he got the legend of the Woolly Swamp. Uh, Charlie was born in 1936, and he was a legend in country rock, southern rock music, and country music. He was one of the outlaw country guys. He was like a little bit of, uh, he was he was kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He was, he was much more hard rock and hippie type, but I mean like in, a, in an outlaw hippie type. Uh, than most of the people born in the 30s. I mean, he was just a year younger than Elvis, a year older than Buddy Holly. And, um, of course, Chuck Berry was a big influence on Charlie Daniels. But, um, but you know, and so he really didn't make it big until the early 70s when he was, like, in his late 30s. And, you know, everybody knows Devil Went Down to Georgia, which I consider one of the first rap songs. If you listen to the lyrics and you think about the lyrics, we all know them. Uh, that mega hit, Devil Went Down to Georgia, uh, he rapped it. It was a rap song. Now I would say Chuck Berry's Maybelline, 1955, is the first rap song because he definitely rapped the lyrics to that one too. But um, anyway, uh, so yeah, there's so many good ones. You know, I'm going to L.A. via Omaha, long-haired country boy, the South's going to do it again. And I get, I get tripped out on people who, Talk about do it again what? Get beat? Well, first of all, the South was outnumbered 24 states to 11. That's why we got beat, although we won the most battles. But the South's going to do it again. It's not talking about the Civil War, y'all. It's talk. If you listen to the lyrics, it mentions ZZ Top, Leonard Skinner, Dickie Betts from the Allman Brothers. You know, it's about Southern rock music. I can't, I just, oh, it gets on my nerves when I hear people say, oh, what's well, South going to do again? Get beat? Yeah. It's not talking about having another Civil War. It was talking about Southern rock music. But anyway, uh, yeah, Charlie, he, uh, um, later he mellowed out. First time I saw him was at the American Legion Fairgrounds in Hickory, North Carolina, here in his home state. And he, um, I remember he said, because I think he, he was a Christian from a young age, but he like, repented at an older age and he quit smoking pot and all those things and he said that um when he did long hair country boy he said i'm gonna change the lyrics we change the lyrics a little bit on this one because it glorifies things that we don't want to glorify anymore and instead of uh i get stoned in the morning i get drunk in the afternoon he's saying i get up in the morning i get down in the afternoon and instead of i will take take another toke he said I will tell another joke and so I saw him in 80, May of 89 and it was a great show you know Charlie was a great guitarist uh, uh, he was great with his Gibson Les Paul and and probably not a bit of, better fiddle player ever lived than virtuoso fiddle player Charlie Daniels and um, and so later he uh, in 19 I think that on that tour 1989 was Simple Man which was a great uh, album, you know. He's like, you talk about guns control and that'll be just fine if you take them away from the criminals. I'll be glad to give you mine. <laughs> and um, and he also, um, he talked about drug, all the out people out there selling dope. You take a long, a big tall tree and a short piece of rope and hang them up 